Aries, what's goody in the hoodie? How you doing? Sorry about, <laughs> I was staring at the camera like that because I kept hitting record and it wouldn't record. Sometimes I watch be acting weird, but how y'all doing? Welcome to y'all general love reading. Thank you for your patience and getting you the reading. This is your general love reading for, what's today's date? July 23rd, wow, July 23rd, look at that. Time going by, man. We are ready about to hit freaking August. What's going on in your love life, Aries? Good to see all of you. I hope all is well with your loved ones, your pets, and you, of course. First card is third party. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Says interference, cheating, competition, and mistress. Some of y'all may have a third party thing going on here. You do got relationship here. It says commitment, partner, boyfriend, and girlfriend. Somebody wants to be in a relationship with you. Divine timing, wrong timing, stalemate, perfect timing, and waiting. Something about divine timing here. Hmm. Date. Some of y'all got a date coming up or somebody going to ask you on a date. It says courting, dating, anniversary, and meetup. Wedding. Mm -mm. Some of y'all, somebody that's married is into you or something like that. Or you married and somebody or in a relationship. What the hell, Aries? Player. Ooh, charming, manipulative, karmic, and being tested. You know what I'm getting for some of you, Aries? For some of you, it's not all of you. Some of you, some people think you a player for some reason. I don't know why. You give off player vibes. You may have even been told that before. But it's just because you're attractive in the way you carry yourself or something. And that's annoying. Everybody that's attractive is in a player. You know what I mean? Finances. Money problems, work, material things, and success. A lot of y'all focused on your money. Home is on the bottom. Comfort, safety, belonging, shelter. You could be spending a lot of time at home. Or maybe some of you work from home. You could be thinking about purchasing property, moving. What's this third party though, Aries? What's what's goody with that? Because that's bothering me. Unfinished business. Hey, mama. It says it's not over. Patterns, back and forth, baggage. Okay, so there's somebody here with faded meeting. Somebody, there's somebody you have unfinished business with, or at least they feel this way. It could be somebody in a third party. What the hell? <laughs> Let me see the relationship card. Toxic relationship. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody and it could be kind of toxic here. I mean, this could be the past. It says fighting, codependent, misunderstandings, and triggers. What's divine timing? Regret, reconciliation. Some of y'all got a reconciliation coming with somebody. It says in divine timing, though, there's a lot of regret here, mistake, guilt, wrong choice, apology. Somebody feels like they made the wrong choice, Aries. They feel like they owe you an apology. They feel guilt and a lot of regret. And this person wants to reconcile. It says back, reunion, back together, second chance, I miss you. Let's see the date card. <laughs> Roll the dice. Oh, some of y'all, some of my single Aries, you need to get out there. Some of y'all need to go to a club or like a nice lounge with the music card coming up or like start going to concerts and stuff or live events, live music events. Yeah, I'm getting that for some of y'all will roll the dice on top of date. Some of y'all need to take a chance. Go out there more, especially with music here. Some of y'all could sing. You got a connection with music, you can sing. Like, what's the wedding card? Few of you may be married. Clearly, that's not all of you. Party and friends. Oof. The hell? Some of y'all gonna get invited to a party or some type of social event. And you might meet somebody there and that may end up being the one. Okay. Some of y'all got like a friend that's interested in you and they're gonna tell you by inviting you at a party. 
What the hell? Let's see player. Who's the player, Aries? If this is resonating, don't forget to hit the like button. Change. Regeneration, growth, metamorphosis, and cycles. Ooh. Okay, with single here. There's a player. Either this is a player you dealt with and they changed. Because it says regeneration, growth, metamorphosis, and cycles. But for a lot of you, I feel like you changed. You went through some type of metamorphosis after dealing with some karmic. A single is here on the bottom. What's going on with your finances? Healing. <laughs> some of y'all like to spend money as a way of healing. <laughs> Me too. Some of y'all, when you, when, like some of you Aries, like you emotional spenders. It's okay. <laughs> Something about healing. Some of y'all money just make you feel good. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Money's healing for some of y'all. Okay. She ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, 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 hey. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, Ari. Go, Ari. Go, Ari. Go, Ari. Harlem Shake. All right, let's see what's going on in your love life, though. For real. What's going on in your love life, Aries? Come on. Personal readings, Miss Hawaii readings at gmail.com. Just email that email. That is the only way to book a reading with your girl. Watch out for scammers on TikTok all over trying to scam y'all for readings. All my pages are in the description box below. And if it ain't one of them pages, it ain't me. And I will never hit you up asking you about no reading. So if anybody hits you up talking about, hey, Aries, got $20, I I I'm going to give you a future. You know, damn well, I wouldn't say nothing like that to you. <laughs> so the only way to book a reading is through that email. All right. I love you guys. Shout out to the members, Patreoners. I love you guys. What's going on in your love life, Aries? What is the energy around you in love? How does this person feel about you? What's really good in the hoodie? Who the hell is that? The fool in reverse. Your energy. Some of you single Aries, you need to like, look, the emperor, did you see how it threw itself at me? My gosh. Okay, Aries, both your major arcana cards coming out. Okay. Step aside. Somebody got on red right now and somebody's really good at playing checkers. I mean, chess. Well, maybe you're good at playing damn both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The fool in reverse. Some of you singles, yeah, you need to get out there. Some of y'all just work. Temperance in reverse. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Seven of Pentacles, okay. Six of Pentacles, okay. I see money. Somebody is like, I don't know what that what that culture is where they wear the scarf on their head. Like you see this lady here, is that Muslim? Ten of Wands, let's pull one more. Somebody's initials are W, T. I'm also seeing the initial F. Queen of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. Your energy really don't look bad, Aries. I got to tell you. Don't look bad at all. Um, some of y'all, you got a lot going on right now. You seem like you real busy. I'm trying to see the person that you're dealing with. So let's see what's going on. I got to dissect this. We can make it just the two of us. Hey! <laughs> okay. A lot of major arcana cards here too. Some of you dealing with another fire sign. Another Aries, a Sagittarius, a Leo. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's like a cook, like a chef. Seeing a lot of seasonings around somebody. We can make it just the two of us. Somebody's a carpenter. 
somebody work at live events, like music events. Because I'm seeing somebody on a stage. Somebody's definitely a chef. Let's clarify these here. Some of you Aries got somebody that's very interested in you, but they are so scared to come towards you. Some of you Aries, like, you intimidate people and you don't even mean to. You're just being yourself with the emperor energy here. You just got this energy to you that's just very not commanding, but it's like, you're going to respect this. <laughs> and you don't even mean to. You're just the emperor, baby. Let's see. What is this fool in reverse? Oh my God, three, three of swords with the knight of swords in reverse. Yeah, there's somebody that wants to come towards you, but they have, they're in pain. They're in pain. They could be an air sign for some of you, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They're in pain. I don't know if this is pain from, I don't feel like this is pain you created. I don't feel like you know this person like that. Or I don't feel like, you and this person have actually been together. This seems like somebody that wants to take a leap of faith towards you, but they still haven't healed from some past stuff. See, the Knight of Swords in reverse, it's like they're not taking action towards you. Can I know more about this person? This person been hurt really bad in the past. Did you see that? Oh my God, your cards are crazy today. Magician in reverse, the High Priestess. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody that, uh... shoot, maybe this is somebody that hurt you before. Maybe this person hurt you. That's why they don't want to come forward because the magician is in reverse. That's Gemini energy. Cancer Pisces with the High Priestess. This person can know you're very intuitive. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see the emperor. Because somebody's seeing you as the emperor. They're seeing you as being in control. And you are. Some of you Aries are not patient enough. You have to be more patient with the temperance in reverse. Some of you could be born on the uh, 14th the 6th, the 7th, the 10th. Some of you could be divorced or separated with the Nine of Cups here and you're happy. <laughs> Some of you are better being like your own, like, like not working for people, like being your own business owners, like doing your own thing, having your own business. What is the temperance in reverse here? Something got you stressed out. King of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Swords. It's somebody here. Some of y'all, you a little stressed about money, about your finances, maybe some type of investment you could have made. You're not really telling me much about your love life. I don't even really see anybody else right now. What's the Seven of Pentacles? The Chariot, Four of Wands. Okay, but you are moving forward with the star. You look real good. Now, hold on though. There is somebody here that, it could be a Cancer or an Aquarius. There's somebody here that feels like they are, they've invested in you. Some of y'all got a new car coming or a new car. You could have just got a new car. I just heard a new car and new place. So let's go. Maybe some of you are manifesting that. But I feel like, there's somebody here that really wants to be with you. Maybe some of you could be in a relationship right now with somebody, and I think this person is really in love with you. What's the Six of Pentacles? Some of y'all, somebody's gonna spend money on you, like take you out, buy you something. The moon in reverse. It could be a Cancer, Pisces here. It's like somebody's with the six of swords in reverse. It could be somebody you dealt with before. 
and they like come forward and they're like, let's hang out or something. Like they've been hiding it. They've been thinking about it for a while with the hangman in reverse. Hey mama, what you doing mama? Let me see this 10 of wands. You went eat? You went eat? You went eat eat? <laughs> She loves to sunbathe. So like when I open the blinds like that, or even in the bedroom, like she will go and sit in the sun. She loves it. Ace of Pentacles. Some of y'all got somebody new here. Somebody new coming in here. I don't know why I'm seeing something about a new job opportunity for some of you. Like, your money looks really good. Okay, who is this Queen of Pentacles? Because Aries, you really took over this reading. The King of Swords. Okay. So who is this? Now, this is a past person that misses you. Five of Cups. But with them coming up as the King of Swords, they would never tell you that. And the Tower in reverse could be a Scorpio. Who is this person? They see you as very stable very balanced the ace of pentacles somebody that's gonna make you a love offer but look seven of wands i feel like you are gonna be super guarded towards who this is they're very attracted to you knight of pentacles there's that temperance again in reverse this person is getting impatient some of y'all this person wants forgiveness for something they did they see you as the knight of wands they're very attracted to you Somebody like in Dubai right now. Somebody could be in Dubai right now watching this. Let me see the Knight of Wands. Yeah, somebody, oh my God. The way your cards have flown out. <laughs> oh my God, Eight of Wands in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This could be somebody you got blocked. This could be somebody you got blocked, you got freaking, you ain't putting in no effort towards. And this person been holding on to you. Somebody's name is Sam. It's like this person is just too attracted to you to let you go. Like they see you as somebody who's like really like lively, like enjoys their life, like very attractive. Mm. Who is this person holding on to you? What you doing mama? Some of y'all, the number eight could be something for you. That could be the day you're born, your person is born. The moon in reverse. Some of y'all already know who this person is that's holding on to you. Some of you, like, you may feel things at night. Like, maybe you might randomly think about this person at night and you don't even know why. It's because they really, like, are focusing on your energy at nighttime. Like, they're trying to... <laughs> they're trying to have that connection with you. They figured they're trying to send you that telepathic energy. You know what I mean? Like, this person is funny. Anything else Aries needs to know and love? The Emperor in reverse with the Justice. Who's that? Some of y'all could have somebody, a possibly another Aries or a Libra. Somebody here who's trying to control you. Hmm. Because I don't like when I see you in reverse. I mean, some of you do have to work on being controlling. <laughs> That's not all of you, but some of y'all do have to work on being stubborn and being control too controlling, especially in love. Don't look at me like that, Aries. You got to work on being fair with the justice card. Now, if you know you are, then don't get mad at me and don't shoot the messenger. Maybe that's the way the person you're dealing with feel. Nine of Cups here with the King of Wands. Whoever you're dealing with, they think you are. I told you, this person is really into you. They could be another fire sign. Could be an Aries, another Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. But this person feels like they see you as the Nine of Cups, baby. They see you as their wish fulfillment. Somebody very attractive. Like, yeah, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there's somebody really feeling you, though. For sure. Let's go into the extended now here. Extended it. 
Hey, oh, oh. Thank you, Aries, for tuning in. Um, we're going to go to the extended reading now if you would like to join me there. The link is below in the description box where you can join me. And in the extended, we're going to go ahead and look at the future for you in love. We're going to see what actions uh, this person will be taking or persons will be taking moving forward towards you in love. We're going to go ahead and reveal these Amira love oracle messages as well to see what you can expect in the future in love, Aries. And then we'll get you some advice, all right? We're going to get some advice from your ancestors, your angels, and your spirit guides to see how you should proceed moving forward in love, all right? Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you all so much. Have a blessed rest of your weekend. Have fun. Keep your head up. Enjoy your week. And yeah, thank you guys for your patience and getting you the reading. If you want to become a member or a Patreon or all that information is in the description box, as well as numerous ways to connect with me, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. All right. I'll see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you next time. Love you, Aries. Bye.